What's up guys, Rob from Legit Mindings Game here, bringing you another episode of the Case of the Golden Idol. Last time we finished chapter uh, 9, and boy howdy, what a chapter it was. I'm just gonna move on, honestly. And, uh, oh, hold on one sec, I have the sound muted. Let me unmute that. Okay, anyway. So we got another multi-layered thing here. Such a relief they decided not to push any fashion charges. I hope this process is not painful. This tribunal is a farce. They spread lies that my pure love is merely lust. And what do they even know about art? I felt it in my bones that I should have drunk less. Now we poor souls experience God's wrath. Is the thing of beauty as he would prevail? If it were not against the first virtue, I would feel very happy. Nicholas, I'll wager you feel a new regime re rewards your diligence now. So tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on new clothes after I asked you to lend me money and you said you had none to spare. I suggest you lend me some now unless you want me to write up an official report about a fourth virtue breach, your beloved brother. All right, Nicholas Maker. History of infraction obedience. Labeled a protocol as being on Thursday, even though it was Wednesday. Took a double length lunch break in the office. Loyal service in the low ranking position to the order party plus the merit. So he's, he's, he's at a plus four social credit score, baby. Six culprits are brought to the tribunal. Tribunal is open. Each culprit charges and evaluated and merit charges are calculated. First culprit's merit ex exaction starts. Second culprit's merit exaction start. Okay. Oh, this is uh, what's his face? Yeah, Goran. Poor bugger. I've never seen so much merit moved in tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. An Albion Frank banknote. David Goran has a secret compartment in his office locker. Denied the existence of the secret compartment. Loyal service in a loyal position. Plus eight. Okay. What the fuck? The man is not breathing, has no apparent wounds. Prince of Dusk, like night, I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love, do not make that error. When you know my name, just look for my face. This is music to my ears, Alistair, but do control your emotions. We as Arbors of Order must never violate the first virtue. Dear Dr. Turner, I must regretfully inform you that during your absence from party business, your senior assistant Daniel has demonstrated extreme untidiness and thus breached one of the virtues. Dr. James Turner, drank a full bottle of brandy at Picnic, kept the book The Legacy of the Rose Dynasty in his study, Royal Service in a high ranking position, plus 20. Oh dear Jesus Christ, okay. What are you insinuating, James? I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know damn well that I keep no secrets. Dear Arbiter Koch, I am writing to inform you that our regiment's colonel was seen with another officer's wife in a potentially intimate situation. We implore you to send your agent to investigate this potential flouting of the first virtue. Slapped a sergeant in anger, listened to marching music in his manner. That's an infraction, okay. Claimed he has no wife, has a painted depicted naked person's house, broke his wife's favorite teapot and anguish, or spending time a night with a neighbor's wife. Alright. Walter Clean Clean Keen floated three times with different mayor women during the party convention. Wore ridiculous headgear at five public events. Claimed he had not betrayed a high arbiter Lazarus during the ritual of ascendance. He was expelled. Whoops. Lothar Richards held a dinner party a few years ago when he offered large amounts of wine to guests, got angry during the questioning, and shouted at the High Arbiter. Revealed the whereabouts of his hiding fugitive dissident daughter Mary and her husband Peter. Evaluated at plus 15 merit. Josh Bailey, pretty good hockey player. Shout out to Josh Bailey, former Islander. Left his work at a tanner early, drank excessive amounts of gin at the Scrawny Cat, drank excessive amounts of rum at the Old Oak, approached 
married woman with an indecent offer denied four times that he had questioned that he had done these acts. Has not held down a job since the regime of value at 60 instances of non work. Claims he works in his castle, helping his servants keep it clean. Says 15 books kept in his private library. Expressed willingness to donate his castle to the party. Expressed at plus 200 merit. Okay. Gideon Bell wears an outrage hairstyle. Broke down in tears 10 times in questioning. Has refused to start working. Rejected the higher up his request that he share information of a secret entrance to the castle and the sovereign. Four maxims of virtue. Silence, who perform your functions as much as required. It is paramount to ensure our new society. Brandy, opium, okay. Remember the second virtue, store confiscated objects and evidence according to virtue breach. An invoice. A violin. Okay. Which of Gideon Bell, painted by Jasmine Nightwings in, in 1794. Book labeled Stories, a book labeled Autumn Tales. In all truth, Lord High Arbiter, I prefer storing no more than this. Since year 1792, when it gained a majority in Parliament and liberated our government from ultra chaos, the Order Party has worked hard to improve society. Despite the vast popular support for the party, His Majesty refused to acknowledge the authority of the party's tribunal. Herbert Lazarus Hurst announced that in two months, the party and supporters will participate in a peaceful march to the king's current residence to demonstrate their virtue of moderation. I'm honored to help the party upkeep the four virtues. I only hope sitting here all day does not count as sloth. Eh, there are worse jobs than this one, and thank God tobacco is not considered an indulgence. Bit boring, though. Too bad literature is forbidden. Okay. Punishments minus merit. Okay. Something has, something, something has ceased since the whatever they got power. Three years have passed, so three years have passed. James, I think. No, that's James, obviously. Somebody got some kind of massive fuck up. Somebody got fucked. No, he has a plus. Jin. I think this is diligence and sloth. Mistakes and untidiness. Um, this is in moderation.
Yeah, okay, that would make sense. Um, indulgence. Excessive lust. Emotions? I don't know. Um, hmm, I see he fucked up. Fucked up. Somebody fucked up. Breach one of the virtues. Yeah, thanks for being very non-specific. Yeah, so moderation. Okay. Um... Vulgar art. Vulgar music. Souls, maybe. Uh, I think this is a fashion, because the guy said something about fashion. Like... Oh, wait, beauty. Beauty? Truth. All bones. Oh, no, secrets. Oh, truth has to be... This one, then. Because somebody was keeping secrets. Secrets. That's not right. Yeah, no, that's definitely not right. Vulgar literature. That's got to be that. Moderation, diligence, beauty? Truth, why, yeah, fashion seems weird and merit doesn't make any sense there. Lies. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. Okay. Indulgence. Excessive indulgence. Excessive francs? No. This is that. The fourth virtue is truth. All lies, secrets, and... Can't be that. No. At work. I thought maybe mistakes goes over here, but truth, and I have all the words, so it's one of these. What's in this fourth box? Just stories. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vulgar fashion, I guess. 
sure. Um, it's probably the idol. Um, so somebody fucked up and died. We gotta figure out how much these punishments are worth. So he has 20. So he had 20. He had 10. That's sloth and a mistake. So it's got to be three each. So that has to be minus three. That's that. Okay. Slapped a sergeant in anger and listened to marching music in his manner. Led to minus nine. Drank a full body's excessiveness. And then he kept a book leading to plus 12, so he lost eight. And I don't suppose you have anything on you, not really. You're not very helpful. None of that's very helpful. And none of these people are very helpful either in this endeavor. Oh, so it's minus one is lying. Minus one each. So that's gotta be that. So we know that's minus one. So that would be down to 19. So this has to be excessive Bullcrap, whatever. Has to be minus seven. So we lost seven down to, so this has to be two. There we go. Math! Alright, so who's dead? That's the real question. I guess we can try to figure out this other crap first. Who had the book? One of you had the book. All right, Quinn. I'm gonna get out my calculator for this because I'm just... I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna have to do it. Because goddamn, there's a lot of math flying around here. So claimed you had no wife, it's a lie. It's minus one. Has a painting depicting a naked person, that's minus seven. Broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger, that's another minus seven. And you spent a night with the wife's neighbor, which is either a lie or lust. I'm gonna go with lust, that's another seven. So Quinn got minus 22. Not good, buddy. Walter Keen flirted three times with different women during the convention. So that's 21 right there. 
We're ridiculous headgear at five events. That's another ten. Claimed he had not betrayed Lazarus. That was a lie. So he's at minus 32, it looks like. Oh, each one is different. Okay. Um... Should try to brute force it. No. Um, okay. Let me go. Th I'll, I'll go through all these and I'll do them like on camera, and then I'll fix. I'm sure the math is wrong somewhere. Um, so that's excessive indulgence. That's minus seven. Got angry, it's another minus seven. So that's 14. So he actually is, a, is up one. Buddy is big ups. Josh Bailey left work early. That's minus three. Drank excessively, that's minus seven. Drank excessively, that's minus seven. Approached a married woman, that's another minus seven. Denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. So he's either at minus 25 or minus 28. Okay, so we're good here. Mr. Webb. 60 instances of non-work. So 60 times three, it's 180. Dear Jesus. Claims he works in this castle. So that's, you know, he's up to negative 181. Possesses 15 books. So 181, 196, but he gave up his house. So he's actually up by four. What a guy. Mr. Gideon Bell. Wears an outrageous hairstyle. That's uh, minus two, Mr. Gideon. Broke down in tears 10 times. That's not good. And if you start working, so another minus 15. And rejected the high orbit's request to share information of a secret. So he's at minus 88. Okay, so let me fix this one real quick. Claimed he had no wife, so that's a lie. So he's up to minus eight. It's minus 15. So it's actually minus 16? No. Claimed he had no wife would be a lie. That's one. There's a painting depicting a naked person. It's minus two. So that's minus three. Broke his wife's teapot in anger. It's minus seven. Is it 17? Okay, there we go. Because I was, I've put the art as a uh, lust instead of vulgar art. Um, but dear Jesus, Gideon, you're, you died. You lost 88 merit. Good Lord. Um. To execute his punishment. It wasn't souls or bones. Three years have passed since the order have gained power. 
Yeah, because it's 1795 and 1792 is when they gain power. Because if we do this, yeah. So we know that's correct. We know that's correct. We know that's correct. We know that's correct. Um. That's 88 francs. Oh, years. Yeah, they used the idol to, like, age him. Dear Jesus. If you go to the party, to seize power now and forces to form maximum virtue. The young Duke Gideon Bell was judged during the tribunal to have lost 88 merits. The high arbiter of the party, Lazarus Hurst, decided to use the idol to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years, thus making him 108, which resulted in his death. Jinkies. That is, uh... That's not okay, man. Yeah, that's a big jinkies. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it looks like the next one is going to be the last episode. So, uh, yeah, our journey is almost at an end. See you then.